Hi, I'm Larry London, and on the next Border Crossings, we will sit down with one of the sexiest and most talented R&B singers in music. Not only has Maya won a Grammy and appeared in the mega box office hit musical Chicago, but she has toured the world for her musical hits like Case of the X, Lady Marmalade, and for her latest album, Kiss. Keep it sexy and simple. Maya recently revealed her love for tap dancing, and we will hear more about that. Plus, we'll be checking out some new songs from her album. Join us for Maya on Border Crossings on the Music Alley here on The Voice of America. Hi, this is Larry London. We welcome you to a very special edition of Border Crossings here at The Voice of America. It's not often we get a chance to welcome a true international superstar into our studios. And today, we would like to welcome to The Voice of America a Grammy-winning superstar, Maya. Welcome to D.C. Wow. Intro. Nice. Well, Thank you I so mean, much. <laughs> I mean, you, you have light up this room. You're absolutely gorgeous. I've been watching, you know, a lot of the different videos you've done recently. You were in Australia on a, on a television show, and you were dancing on the show and singing. You did an L.A. Pride show, and, and you look fantastic. You're just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, I want to say from the get-go. You know, I know that I had overheard you in an interview talking about the fact that a lot of people didn't realize you tapped, but you did when, you know, as a young child, you took tap ballet, a number of different styles of dance, and you've kind of gone into tap now and, and said, hey, I'm embracing the tap part of me. You know, there was a, there was a big emergence of a new culture or style of dance when I was about 10 years old, and that was introduced to me by Savion Glover, where it became really cool to do for the young generation. Mm -hmm. And um, that was my first introduction to rhythm tap. And I said, I want to do that. I'd never danced in heels. I was in Mary Jane's for quite a while, and it's, <laughs> it's considered show tap. And I learned a lot of the basics that way mm -hmm. in my childhood years, and I quit for a while. But when I saw Savion and Gregory Hines in the movie Tap, I said, I want to do that, you know? And for a while, a lot of girls didn't do that kind of thing. <laughs> so what we do is Rhythm Tap. Mm. And the styles and varieties within Rhythm Tap varies. You know, you can have Afro-Cuban rhythms, Brazilian rhythms, uh, Latin, all kinds of things mm -hmm. intertwined as percussion. Um, but there's so much and so many dancers that have so many different styles within that genre of tap. And uh, it's just so great to see all of the musicianship and entertainment factors come into play when you watch it. And it's pretty invigorating. And it is something I consider a sport as well. Well, it's great to have all three of you in our studios. And uh, if, if you wouldn't mind, Maya and the young ladies from Tap Fest, I would love to have you guys give us a demonstration of uh, what it is you do. Wow, that was that was awesome. I really I don't think we've ever had that before on border crossing, so I really enjoy that. Maya, could you please introduce us to, to your two guests? This is Chloe Arnold. Hi, Chloe. This is Mark Arnold Hello. and their sisters. <laughs> and we are all tap sisters. Tap sisters. Yeah. You've been working on a new album, I understand. A seventh album you've been in the studio? <laughs> oh, I'm now working on the eighth. Eighth album. But the seventh album is Kiss, Kiss, which I did independently, mm -hmm. no money, you know, <laughs> same thing, so self-funded, yeah. self-executive produced, but I had a good time making it, you know, mm -hmm. I've been independent for quite a few years, mm -hmm. and the music business has completely changed and flip-flop merges, left and right, layoffs, but, you know, it's, it's a passion of mine, and I've never lost that, regardless if the business changes, 
So I made an album for my fans just as a gift, and mm -hmm. they love it. And I've been to Australia, Europe, Africa, just so many places because they've received it. Mm -hmm. And they enjoy, and that's what it's all about. It's called KISS, Keep It Sexy and Simple. And what that title means is to, I guess, remove Mm -hmm. Remove a lot of unnecessary or unwanted energy in your life and just keep it re very simple. And that's when you become uh, appreciative of the small things. Mm -hmm. And that's when you become a better person and attract everything that is sexy. You know, when you are together mm -hmm. spiritually and grounded and balanced you attract everything that you are mm. and that's sexy to me so keep it sexy and simple is the title of that album and that's my seventh studio album so you do so many things so well and and people around the world know you not only for your film work your television work your tours but also all the the albums you've put out and you're you're working on your eighth album right now which is called <laughs> well, I'm not giving up any information oh, about on. what I'm working on. Come on, tell us. <laughs> I am in the studio, mm -hmm. but the seventh studio album was an independent album mm -hmm. called Kiss that I released worldwide, initially in Japan, mm -hmm. but just last year I released it, and um, it's been it's been very rewarding, you mm -hmm. know, self-funded. <laughs> yes, and you have your own label, <laughs> right? A lot Planet of Nine. Planet Nine is my label, and I've uh, toured quite a few territories just with that independent album, which I created as a gift just to my fans. Mm. And um, I even shot a music video di uh, directed by my choreographer mm -hmm. in Atlantic City from the album. We kind of rented equipment on our own and just shot it ourselves and gave it to the fans this year mm -hmm. for Valentine's Day as a gift as well. So, you know. Uh, I've been doing quite a lot of things just independently under the radar, but this eighth studio album I'm looking forward to in a major way. Hmm. Now, if somebody gave you a choice, if they said, Maya, you can only act, you can only dance, you can only sing, pick one. Kill me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy products and projects that are able to incorporate the three, mm -hmm. if not more, mm -hmm. you know, musicianship as well. And uh, I love being behind the scenes also and being a part of the creative process. But if I could have the ultimate project that allowed me to sing, act, dance, compose, I would be in heaven. It's yeah. hard to choose, but I really seek projects that in incorporate everything. Mm -hmm. Now, you said you want to be behind the scenes in what regard? Do you want to direct a film? Or? Well, that, I think that just comes naturally, just being a creative person. Mm -hmm. You end up directing and producing shows, <laughs> being a part of the lighting and True. learning about wardrobe and sewing things right before you go on stage. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of things. Because you know what you want the final product to look like. Mm -hmm. And you end up doing those things anyway. But there are techniques to everything. There are uh, there are definitions and terminology to understand the professionals, and then there's a respect factor. So you have to know what you're doing, and I always believe that education is key, and studying is key in every craft or department. So I think just being involved, Rob Marshall was one of those people that knew what he wanted mm -hmm. in every aspect from the soundtrack, the score, the wardrobe, studying the period, and having visual references in the movie Chicago. I watched him. Voice choreography and he saw it through from beginning to end and I really have a love for that seeing a process from nothing creating it and you're birthing something so I think that's really incredible and um, I would say that I have an eye and an ear for a lot of things yes. but it's fun mm -hmm. you know I love the entire process mm -hmm. do you have a highlight from your career, one moment that stands out beyond because you've done so many different things. And uh, one um, was it getting the Grammy? Was it what, what, you know, being in Chicago, watching yourself on the big screen? There were so many blurs. You would be surprised what my highlight <laughs> would be in a career. <laughs> Honestly, I think it was one particular call on a radio station where someone mentioned a song lyric that made them make a different decision and go down a more positive path. In life and that was very impactful for me mm -hmm. certain personal connections have uh, even made me cry those are the things that I remember and that I'm affected by teaching the kids is a part of my foundation that goes a long way and makes me feel that I'm contributing something beyond the lights camera action mm -hmm. which is usually a bur blur right, for me right, right, right. <laughs> anyways <laughs> but it's fun but there's something else called fulfillment Mm -hmm. And I think those are the things that I live for mm -hmm. and actually reward me in other ways that I never knew because I was never seeking and uh, give me a sense of purpose and mm -hmm. direction in life. Now, t tell yeah. me about your foundation. You, you mentioned that. So, 
It's called the Maya Arts and Tech Foundation. I'm thinking about changing the name. <laughs> you know, I don't like things that are too much about me, but it's not. It's about incorporating, obviously, arts and technology, but propelling kids to become educated in all departments and be self-sufficient, independent thinkers. Some of the courses that we have are Teratibu. Uh, it's an African spoken art form which focuses on discipline as well as commands. And it's kind of like military boot camp and precision. Mm -hmm. um, there's also sound engineering, courses that you can't necessarily go to a studio or a community center for. A little odd, but it's fun because we entertain them and incorporate artistic and mm -hmm. creative elements. Uh, there's also music, videography, photography, life skills course, praise and worship dance, uh, hip hop, they love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they get to pick their songs. Right, right. Just stuff like that. And um, it really goes a long way, and they're excited about it, but they learn a lot. And they're tested at the end of the not semester, but program, and then they have a finale piece that they can present to their parents. And we've been doing this since 2005, and it's all independent funding. So this is based in D.C., my hometown, mm -hmm. and I've always had a passion for teaching. My first job was teaching tap through yeah. tap. Really? So I, mm -hmm. I've developed a skill to work with kids and keep them engaged because I always... I was a little bored sometimes <laughs> in certain classes, and I'm, I'm just like, I need a teacher that understands me and knows how to talk to me and make me feel like I can apply this somewhere in life. So I've learned those things, being an observer, but it's all about the kids mm -hmm. and elevating them and, and being a positive force mm. for their self-esteem and eventually life skills that they can um, apply to their profession, careers, and just person. Hmm. Well, Maya, it's, it's such an honor and a pleasure to have someone like you in our studios, such a talented person who does so many things so well. And you've brought along a guitarist, Andrew White, who's here as well. He's joining us. So I'm going to put you two to work. If you wouldn't mind singing a song for us, that would be great. I'm going to sing a song called Take a Picture. It's written by myself in pink from my Mood Ring album, accompanied by guitarist Andrew White. <laughs> And all the friends I've had Never ever thought that I would change But as I'm looking back Feels like I'm growing up so damn fast Before I know it, my future's now my past Like sand through an hourglass I wanna take a picture So I remember this moment forever I wanna take a picture so I remember this moment together. I wanna take a picture so I remember this moment together. Yeah. I wanna take a picture so I remember this moment forever. Hey. about my younger days things weren't this crazy i wasn't so emotional i didn't cry at commercials sometimes i feel like a mess and people laugh at how i dress and sometimes i act like an ass and watch the sand through an hourglass i want to take a picture so i remember this moment too So I remember this moment forever. I wanna take a picture. So I remember this moment together. I wanna take a picture. So I remember this moment forever.
right, it's Border Crossings. And we want to hear from you. Join us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash VOA Larry London. Join the conversation with Larry London and the whole Border Crossings team and tell us what you'd like to hear. Check out Larry's interviews with some of the most interesting and engaging artists on the scene today. And not only interviews, you'll find exciting performances recorded right here at VOA Studio Number 4. Don't miss our Border Crossings Twitter feed at VCVOA. Be sure to visit our website at www.voamusicmix.net. And you can always reach us via email at bordercrossings at voa.gov. Border Crossings, today's music for today's audience at VOA's Music Alley. If people want to find out more about your foundation or about your albums, about do you have websites, uh, Facebook yeah, pages people can uh, go to? My foundation website is tmatf.org. My main website is mayamaya.com. Obviously, everyone's on Twitter and social media. <laughs> I'm Miss Maya, M I S S M Y A, on Twitter. And my Facebook page is linked. DC Tap Fest is dctapfest.com. Mm -hmm. Any other? Um, I'm Maudie Poo on Twitter, <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm at Chloe Arnold. <laughs> and you know, we are rocking these tap shirts that yes. actually help Beautiful. us fund uh, scholarships yes. for the kids that are coming from Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, scholarships for them to study. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was about 12 years old, I got an honorable mention to one of the dance partners that I am dancing with, a Steve Kondo scholarship to go study classes in New York, mm -hmm. where I begin to throw myself in certain environments to improv and to learn improvisation and it went so far mm -hmm. that I have a career in music mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, that difference makes the world yeah. in a person's life so I'm so proud of you guys. Mm -hmm. Well you mentioned you know the late Gregory Hines and and how he touched you what do you tell young people when they ask for advice they say I want to become like you I want to pursue a career in this business like you, what well, advice? What I ask them questions with the questions that they ask me. Why? Why do you want to do it? I want to be famous. I don't <laughs> well, what is fame to you? Mm -hmm. I want to be happy. I want to be rich. What is rich to you? What does that mean? Well, this is my definition. I give them what rich is. Mm -hmm. I give them what happiness is and how I define it. And that's not always about money. Okay, money helps, mm -hmm. but that's not everything. So when I break it down to them, hopefully they'll understand and I'll give them a clear example. Mm -hmm. It could be, hey, I'm on crutches right now and I can't walk, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, but I'm happy. I'm happy. I can't tap that right now, so I'm not quite fulfilled, but I know I'm gonna heal. Mm -hmm. Now, a man that loses his soul to gain his goal, is not quite fulfilling and not all kids understand mm. that right and a lot of things come and go cars mm -hmm. they get old right mm -hmm. you know the shoes on your feet they get old right you mm -hmm. want the next pair right right <laughs> how much do they cost <laughs> how are you gonna get that mm -hmm. save your money if you don't have enough money don't make that an, an excuse mm -hmm. but don't spend it on other things mm -hmm. that you don't need so let's focus here let's be a businesswoman let's be a businessman how are we gonna take these classes? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what we have to raise so that we can hone our skills and get better. And practice always makes better. Not always perfect, but better. Mm -hmm. And if you believe in yourself, and I need you to speak into the mirror to yourself positively, you're going to do it. Because when I didn't have anything and my mom was shopping at the thrift store mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> for my tap shoes mm -hmm. and putting bottle caps on the, the bottom, it happened anyway, and this is where these shoes, and I hold them, I wore them yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. The shoes that I had on when I was 12 and 13 years old, I wore them yesterday. Mm -hmm. And they've taken me all over the world. So there are stories that will help them understand and apply to their own lives. And when you give them a little bit of the, the struggle mm -hmm. and the pain and the fight, they understand that, guess what, it's possible. Mm -hmm. She did it, mm -hmm. okay? He <laughs> did it, and they're inspired by that. So conversation and time mm -hmm. really goes a long way versus saying, oh, I'm on TV. You are always, always going to be one of my favorite artists. I love your voice. I love your sexiness, your sassiness. Maya, I love everything about you. I, and I would really appreciate it if you could do another song for us. This next one we're going to do for you guys is a classic, 70s, by Shaka Khan. It's called Sweet Thing. <laughs> My 
my very first demo at 15, by the way. <laughs> I will love you anyway, even if you cannot stay. I think you are the one for me. Here is where you want to be. I just want to satisfy you, cause you're not mine and I can't deny it. Don't you hear me talking, baby? Love me now. Crazy and whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? Whoa, whoa sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, baby. Oh, be it wrong. I'm only what you make me, baby. Don't walk away. Don't be so shady. Just want your mind. Don't want your money. The words I say, they may sound funny, but sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? Yeah. Whoa. Don't you know you're my everything? Yes. Yes, you are, baby. Love. Oh. Wow. The, the windows just got steamy. I mean, you are, you are hot. Maya. Maya is the guest here on Border Crossings Music Alley. When I mentioned that you were going to join us on the show, I got uh, several email from our audience around the world. And one of the questions that was sent in to me to ask on behalf of our listeners is uh, the Grammy that you won. Where is the Grammy today? Where do you keep it? Where's the Grammy? Where do you I keep, keep your Grammy? All awards and all plaques locked up. I don't want to see them. Why not? Because I haven't given my best, and really? the best is yet to come. Yes. You just need the platform and sometimes the funding in this business. <laughs> but Back to the money. The best is yet to come, and I haven't given that just yet. So I don't look at that, you know? No. That's kind of like, oh, okay, that's grade school. I've graduated. I'm in high school right now, but now we're going to go to college, and then we're going to have a career. Mm -hmm. So I don't look at those things, and I'm not comfortable just yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. proven myself to me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I, I'm sure many people would disagree because, you know, you have accomplished an awful lot. And but you've touched when your so idols are like Prince and <laughs> well. play 17 instruments, it's just, you know, I'm inspired by a lot of people. Do you play instruments? I play the violin. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Beautiful instrument. So, you know, you travel a lot, you tour a lot, you perform a lot. I don't know if you still do, but, you know, I'm sure you will with the, the new album when you complete the new album. So, do you have favorite places you like to go? You seem to have a relationship with Australia Any, and Japan. But anywhere there's food, I'm there. <laughs> I love to eat. I love mm -hmm. to travel just to try different mm -hmm. cultures of food. And that's the exciting part. <laughs> also, you know, obviously the history, mm -hmm. if we have time. Now, that's usually the challenge. I like being places that I've never been before and uh, learn a little something about mm -hmm. it while I'm there and hopefully contractually fit in a day off, if mm -hmm. possible. But, um, you know, it, it is a little blur when you start mm -hmm. out and you have to do show to show to show. But I just love taking in other mm -hmm. cultures and finding out not so much hotels, but maybe how other people live there. <laughs> that's when I get the true experience, mm -hmm. you know. Well, the producer's telling me that uh, we're running out of time. So before we go, I want to make sure I save enough time in the program to have you do one more song for us. I would really appreciate it. Maya, would you sing another song? Without you, can't help myself. How 
does it feel to know that I love you, babe? Lost without you, can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, babe? Tell me that you love me more and how you think I'm sexy, babe. That you don't want nobody else You don't want this girl You don't want that girl You wanna touch yourself when you see me And tell me how you love my body And how it make you feel, baby You wanna roll with me You wanna hold me You wanna stay warm and get out of the cold with me I just love to hear you say it It makes a girl feel good, baby Tell me you depend on me I need to hear it I'm lost without you Can't help myself How does it feel To know that I love you, babe Lost without you Can't help myself How does it feel To know that I love you, babe Cause you will tell me Every morning Oh, oh yeah, baby Ooh, oh, honey Oh, darling Oh, right now Oh, sugar Oh, baby Ooh, honey All right How does it feel to know that I love you, babe? Oh, yes. Ooh. Well, Maya, we're out of time for today. Uh, saddest part of my day right now is we have to say goodbye, but I've really enjoyed having you on our television program, which is called Border Crossings on Music Alley. So thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for bringing the girls in with you to, uh, to tap for us and letting us uh, inside your life and revealing some things that perhaps people didn't know about you before. We are enjoying the, the latest album and looking forward to the new album when you finish that and when it does come out, and of course your film projects as well. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Maya, and you're always welcome to come back to Border Crossings on the Voice of America anytime you'd like to talk to us. Thank you for this having This is the Voice us. of America. I'm Larry London, and this is the VOA Music Alley. Stay tuned. <laughs>